Hey guys, welcome back to another DIY bride video. I always get so excited to film these videos because so many of you have given me such positive feedback on these videos and you tell me that you look forward to them, so that's really cool, I really appreciate that. For today's video, I'm going to do a chalkboard tutorial a few different ways, so I'm going to show you guys how I plan on incorporating some chalkboard projects into my wedding. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do the centerpieces, as well as a haul at the end. I always finish up with one of those, so I have some really cool stuff I'm excited to share with you guys, some really fun ideas that I think will also save you some money. So before I get into it, if you are new, please subscribe and definitely like this video for more videos like this. And Let's get started. I wanted to start with what I'm going to do for the cards at my wedding. I thought I could find something that is pretty neutral as far as like feminine and masculine. I know so many things are going to be feminine, so whenever I can, I try and throw in something that is a little masculine because I don't want Chad to feel like it's all like rainbows and flowers, if you know what I mean. So I found this really cool crate and it was a really good deal. I think it was like $15, so I will link it down below. The next thing I'm going to do is pull out my Versa Chalk contact paper. I'm so obsessed with this stuff. There's just so many ways you can use it and I love on the back side how there are lines for cutting it so I don't have to use a ruler there's also directions on the best way to apply it so this stuff is just really useful and really fun I'm going to cut out a square of this and then I'm going to use my Versa chalk markers I really wanted to mention these markers as well because these are the best chalkboard markers I've ever used I've used ones where when they dry they kind of like flake a little bit or just get really really dusty which looks really messy I definitely don't want that sort of look or I've also used ones where when you go over it more than one time it starts to lift off what's there already and that obviously is not ideal with these I just feel like they are so user friendly and so consistent when they come out so I really like these ones the first thing that I did for my chalkboard sign was add a little bit of greenery I just thought it looked really cute on the sides so I just did a little bit of that and then I did circles that were blue. They're kind of just like an accent idea, sort of look like flowers, but I just think it's really simple and looks really nice. The next thing I did was just write the word cards in white. I kind of went over it once to make sure it would fit and then I thickened the edges where I wanted to and it's just so simple it only takes a few minutes. Once that's all done, it does dry pretty quickly, so I just ripped off the back where it's like the sticker part and I slapped it on the crate, and that's all. It's so simple. I think it's so cute. Obviously, I can reuse this crate in the future. I know I will use it for home decor somewhere in my house after the wedding, so again, it's just so simple, so cute, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. The next thing I wanted to show you guys was a chalkboard sign. I feel like these are just such a good idea for weddings. There's so many things you could use them for. It could be directions or a menu for the bar. There's just so many great opportunities to use these. But the one that I found was the most common was for your hashtag. So that's what I'm showing you guys today. And I found this saying, capture the love on Pinterest. I thought that was really cute. I started the same way that I did with the card sign. So I put some greenery on the edges and then I wrote capture the love. And then on the bottom is our hashtag, which is Chad and Alex. I decided to do that in something that isn't like wedding or married related because I wanted it to be a hashtag we could use for like a bunch of different things throughout our life so we can like scroll back on it and see our wedding in there as well. It's not just something solely for our wedding. I know everyone's not into that, but I just felt like with our names and stuff, there really wasn't like a wedding one that I liked, so I just thought I would keep it simple. I also did print that on our cocktail napkins for the bar, so that's another idea for you guys. That way people are just way more likely to take their own photos and share them with you, so I think it's a really cute idea. The next thing I wanted to show you guys really quickly is just how I'm doing my centerpieces, and I think I told I told you guys this in my last video but we are doing family style for the dinner so if you don't know what that is it's just instead of having like an individual plate for every person or having a buffet they put all the food on the table so there will be like a few plates of side dishes a few plates of like an entree and then everything's just right there and you can kind of be really interactive with the people you're sitting with it's just something that is really common in San Francisco at restaurants and we love that it's just really like a conversation thing I guess I would say so we definitely wanted that at our wedding but since there will be like so much food on the tables we really can't have like a huge centerpiece or anything like that because we obviously will 
need room for the food. So I decided to do two small flower arrangements on each table. I'm using five inch circular vases. These are really cheap. They're like three or four dollars at Michael's, so I will link them down below. And the next thing I'm going to do is put this on the inside of the vase. Just wrap it around so you can't see the wet foam that goes in the middle. I bought this on Amazon. I'm not sure what this is called, so I will link it down below. I took it out of the packaging. But this stuff is really awesome. I think it was $20 for this whole roll. It definitely will be way more than I need, and it obviously is made to look like those leaves I put on the inside of vases you can see through. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. I will put in a couple of pictures. It's a really popular way to do floral arrangements, and then I'm just going to secure it with tape, and this stuff is made for this, so it's waterproof. It's meant to be in like a floral arrangement. It won't wilt or have any problems, and then inside of that, I'm going to put wet foam, so everything will be ready to go. It won't take me that long to do these. Again, I'm doing two per table, so honestly, I think within like an hour, I will have all of them done since I'm prepared ahead of time. I feel like with weddings, so much of it is just being as prepared as you can, so I think that's a really good idea. I think it's easy and it's fun. I enjoy doing it, so that's an idea for you guys in case you want to do the same thing. I just think they are really cute and pretty, and I'm looking forward to seeing how they turn out. The next thing I want to show you guys is an idea for the mother of the groom. So I was looking on Pinterest, which I feel like I'm always talking about Pinterest in these videos, but for a gift for her and I love the ones that have like a saying and the saying that I really love is thank you for raising the man of my dreams it's just short cute it's obviously wedding related but a lot of the bracelets and the necklaces that I saw with that saying looked pretty cheap to be honest and they were pretty expensive but at the same time like you're only really paying for the service of someone finding that accessory and writing that saying and putting it in a box with a date like I felt like they were all just so expensive or not that great of quality so I really wanted to find something different. I decided to go on Kate Spade. A lot of websites that are a little nicer will do like free printing for cards for a gift. So that's what I did and I got her a bracelet. So I'm really excited about this. I just feel like it's such a good idea. I wanted to share it with you guys and it comes in a box already. So the box is like way nicer than the box I saw for a lot of other things. And then inside it's wrapped, it has a sticker that says Kate Spade. I'm just going to unwrap it, but I had them print on here the saying I liked, which again is thank you for raising the man of my dreams. And I have my name on there and our wedding date. And then I will show you guys the bracelet. It does come in a little pouch that says Kate Spade on it. And then it looks like this. So again, it's like very similar in price to the other things, but the quality is just a million times better. Obviously it comes with packaging and it comes with like a dust bag and all of that. So I just feel like this is a really, really good idea. I just think it's really pretty, something she obviously can wear to our wedding, so I love that. Next, I wanted to show you guys the outfits for the groomsmen. I showed you guys like photos on the screen in a previous video, but I didn't show you them like in front of me, so I have them now, so I want to show you guys. I bought the suspenders and the bow ties from an Etsy shop. I believe the name is Melody of Cuteness, and they are super nice. I sent her like a photo of the bridesmaids dresses and told her like what I was trying to do, how I was trying to match them. She did give me a couple of extras. That's why I love like working with Etsy whenever I can because I feel like the service is just so much better than I would get at like a huge store almost every time. So I will have a link for that store down below. She was just really, really nice and helpful and it did come as a set. So I'm going to take these out actually. I love the look of these suspenders. They have like a vintage look to them and the stripe. I just think these are so cool. And then I got a bunch of these bow ties as well. They all are a different color. I literally have so many of these but I just think they're so pretty they all have like a pastel look to them so they all will go with someone's bridesmaids dress I also have the pants for the groomsmen so I bought these from Express and they are like a medium blue color I guess I would say slacks like they're very summery they have an off-white button on the pockets and then they are just like really simple, but I think these are really cool. They're really lightweight. I love like the style of them. They do have like a very slight sheen to them, if you know what I mean. So I really, really like these. I will link them down below in case you guys want to do something like that. We also did get a belt for everyone. I know that's like a little thing, but I really feel like, especially if someone isn't wearing a sport coat, it really stands out if they all don't have the same thing on. So we bought these from Nordstrom Rack, and I think these are really summery and pretty since like the stitching is really light 
and it's just like simple brown belt so everyone will have to get like their own shoes that is the same color as the belt and a white shirt but everything else is already picked out and done really quickly I just wanted to show you guys some shoes for Chad and I know this is like sort of random but I feel like his shoes are like a little more important to me than my own shoes because you really won't be able to see my shoes but his shoes are like very visible and I'm definitely a shoe person so I wanted to show these to you guys so they kind of have like the same look as the belt for the groomsmen everything will just tie in together really nicely so these are by Cole Haan. They smell so good because they're like just fresh out of the box. Obviously they're like a medium brown color and I just thought these were so pretty and nice looking. I will link them down below if they still have them but I'm just so excited about these. I'm just such a shoe person so I know it's sort of random but I wanted to show you guys because I'm sure if you are a bride watching this then you are probably picking out what the groom is going to wear. So I wanted to include that just really quickly but yeah I really love these. They're super nice quality and they were a really good deal so those those are his shoes and that completes today's DIY bride video thank you guys so much for watching and of course thank you for all of the positive feedback on this series I love that you guys are loving it I have a lot more videos coming so thank you again for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye